Subnormal intelligence, IQ 60 to 80, around 9% of the population. People in this range face real, lifelong cognitive limits. Many struggle with language, memory, and abstract reasoning. Day-to-day -day tasks often require guidance or supervision. Their world is based on tone, touch, and routine rather than logic. But emotional connection is strong. They feel kindness and comfort deeply. With support, structure, and patience, they can live meaningful lives within their abilities. Below average, IQ 80 to 90, roughly 16% of people, these individuals can live independently but struggle with complex instructions and theory-heavy subjects. They learn best by repetition and hands-on practice. They're often loyal, practical, and grounded. Best fit roles, manual labor, retail, delivery, and care support positions. Low average, IQ 90 to 95, around 12%. Daily life is manageable, but multi-step planning and abstract reasoning can feel overwhelming. These people are steady and reliable, especially in jobs with clear routines. Best fit roles, administrative support, driving, customer service, and technical assistance. Average, IQ 95 to 115. This is nearly half of everyone alive. Reading, writing, planning, and solving everyday problems all happen at this level. Society runs on this tier. Teachers, nurses, business owners, technicians. But there's a trap here. People often feel smart enough and stop questioning their own assumptions. Best fit roles, the entire backbone of modern society. Above average, IQ 115 to 125, around 11%. Thinking gets faster. Patterns appear sooner. School might have felt slow or repetitive, but frustration is common, not because others are less intelligent, but because information moves slower for them, best fit roles, software development, engineering, analytics. Superior, IQ 125 to 135, roughly 4%. Now we see clear high ability. These individuals learn quickly, understand complex systems, and excel in structured, high-level problem solving. They may detach socially because they think several steps ahead of others. Best fit roles, architecture, advanced engineering, data science, research. IQ society relevance, Mensa, top 2%, fits here. Intertel, top 1%, begins around the upper edge. Gifted. IQ 135 to 145, under 1%. Gifted minds connect distant ideas, reframe problems, and push into self-taught territory. Their thinking is original, fast, and often intense. But emotional challenges and isolation are common. Best fit roles, theoretical fields, complex research, high-level mathematics. IQ society relevance, intertel territory. Triple nine society begins around the top 0.1%. Genius, IQ 145 to 155, about one in a thousand. These minds reshape fields. They question rules instead of simply mastering them. Their ideas create new paradigms in science, philosophy, and art. But genius often feels isolating. Society rarely understands them in their own time. Best fit roles, Breakthrough theoretical science, pioneering research, transformative invention. IQ society relevance, triple nine society. Transcended, IQ 155 to 170, roughly one in 10,000. This level operates like a different mental architecture. They dissolve assumptions, cross-link disciplines instantly, and create ideas that shift culture itself. They often feel like visionaries, too early for their era, too broad for a single field. Best fit roles, founding new scientific frameworks, shaping long-term intellectual movements. IQ society relevance, Prometheus society in the extreme upper end of ultra-high IQ groups. Gushu, omniscient. IQ 199 and above, statistically non-existent on modern tests. This level is beyond measurement, closer to myth than data. If such a mind existed, it would reshape how intelligence itself is defined. No society or test can verify this level with reliability. It sits beyond the edge of current human metrics. 
At this point, intelligence stops being about problem solving. It becomes pure awareness, insight, and structural understanding of reality.